Hollywood's most talented and respected actors, but he's also kind of entertainment royalty. So let's take a look at a very special shop that's become an outright addiction from a pal, Jared Harris. His father, Richard Harris, was both King Arthur and Albus Dumbledore. And Jared Harris is just as much of a chameleon, morphing from Andy Warhol and Ulysses S. Grant to a fan favorite character, Lane Price on Mad Men. Taking me, Jared, down this secret little passageway, but I kind of like it. Let's check this out. It's a mystery. We are at the Mystery Pier Bookshop on Sunset Boulevard, just behind Book Soup. It's a rare and first edition um, bookshop, and I have a have a personal uh, have uh, a affinity, edition, yes, for, for first edition, <laughs> which I sort of inherited from my father. Fittingly, father and son team Harvey and Louis Jason have owned this unique bookshop in West Hollywood for over 17 years, and it's packed full of gems. So this has kind of been like a treasure hunt for you yeah, guys. Yeah, it is. Every single book in this shop is a true first edition. Mm -hmm. Every book. Show us some of these amazing books you have here. And this is an interesting yeah. copy. This is a first edition of Gatsby, but look whose copy this is. Whose copy is it? Oh, it's Cecily DeMille's copy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I love the fact that he went to the trouble of getting his own little stamp that he put in yeah. the books. Mm -hmm. Well, you lend out a book, you've yes. got to know where it's going and who it's coming back to. And this is a terrific thing. This is a first edition of Dr. Oh. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. These are the first separate printings of Shakespeare's plays. The first time they were ever published separately after the four folios. 1734. We were doing wedding gifts for somebody. Mendelssohn's Wedding March. He, it's full symphony, 1851. Oh, how beautiful. This is it. There's no other copy of this uh, at auction. And there is no other copy for sale in the world. Wow. So this is clearly a place that you can get very special gifts for people. But do you have to have thousands and thousands of dollars to be able to? No, not necessarily. Like there are books in here for a hundred dollars, oh, and nice. some less. Yeah, no, hundred dollars. The front room is all contemporary mm -hmm. and much less expensive, <laughs> and the books go up well into into the thousands. What was the first book that you found here that you were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they have this? Um, probably Catcher in the Rye. Because that's a sort of one of the holy grails. Jared is clearly your favorite oh, celebrity. Right? Right? Well, Jared is not the only big star in the world. Jared is not the only big star who can often be found wandering amongst these precious books. He is indeed one of their favorites. <laughs> the only guy I know who brings his own books to the bookstore. That's true. He's um, got some impressive he does stuff. Some very, oh, very he does. incredible books. Yeah. And, uh, and that's a delight. It's a delight for a yeah. seller. Yeah. to have a buyer who knows so much and, and values the book so much. But they do have one small problem with their book-loving clients. It's time to go home now, Jared. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we've been closed for two hours. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.